The man from the window is back on the channel. Today, we're going to be learning more about who the man from the window really is. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to The Fish's Tale. This is the brand new man from the window game. You guys told me this one is a lot of fun. I'm just going to hit new game. We're not going to go tough mode yet. I might come back and do tough mode, but we're going to start with normal mode for now. Here we go. You guys know Zed Technician makes awesome games. And the cutscenes are great, too. Okay, I already see a new monster. I already see a new monster. Is that the man from the window's dad? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, hi. Are you Angela? Angela? What does Angela look like? Okay. <laughs> That's me. Okay, apparently this is Angela. She looks like a deep sea monster, but apparently her name is Angela. Oh, good. Thanks for coming. Especially on such short notice as well. What, is Angela like a plumber? Is your toilet leaking upstairs and you called Angela the plumber? It, it would make sense because she is used to water. So, I should probably tell you exactly why you're here before we get started. My involvement in this whole situation begun after my father's ultimate passing. Oh, we might be learning about the man from the window's father today. I don't know, because I know all of these games are connected. That's what I'm going to guess for now. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. In his will, he left three things to me. The first thing was his house. It may not look like much, but it's been in our family for generations. The second thing was the $20 he had in his bank account. He had $20 and you're counting that in his will? Okay, you know what? That's totally fine. A wealthy man he was not, though his kindness more than made up for his lack of wealth. And the third thing... We're about to find out why Angela is here. Oh my gosh, is that him? Was his responsibility of keeping the fish asleep? Is that the man from the window's dad? Okay, well now I'm all sorts of confused. Which one of these guys is the man from the window's dad? Because the man from the window's gotta have a dad. At least, at least that's what I'm sticking with today. And that's the part that I'm gonna need help with. Okay, by the way, if you guys wanna see more man from the window on the channel, hit that like button right now and subscribe to the channel. My father had the foresight to leave a set of instructions for me to follow. Apparently, I'm supposed to perform an annual sealing ritual. If I don't, the fish will reawaken? Okay, well, you know what? If it reawakens, it won't be in water, so it will immediately die. So you know what, Monica? I wouldn't be too worried. The ritual involves the summoning and gathering of five mystical chains. By splitting the workload evenly, we should be able to complete the ritual and succeed where I have failed. I'll perform the spells to summon the chains, and then you'll go collect them. Is the recipe on your laptop? I've already can, uh, can transcribed the necessary information on my laptop. There are five spellcrafting recipes. Oh, the recipes literally are on her laptop in total, and also a list of the correct order in which to make them. Allow me to open the correct file, and then we can begin. 12 o'clock. But, but the, the clock says 9. Why does it say 12 o'clock? Okay, whatever. Here we go. Let's open this up, and I need to select the right recipe. Oh, gosh, I have no idea. Binding, Dauntless, Forsakening. I think it was Binding. Wasn't it binding? Yeah, the binding seal. Two bleeding hearts, one silver tongue, one spiteful fang, one false water, a broken bone, and cursed ashes. Well, I've got a couple broken bones in my ribs. If you didn't see that vlog on my other channel, I boxed and I broke two ribs, so check that out. But I'll be able to help with the broken ribs. Okay, so now I assume... Oh, here's the ingredients. Ah, so the first ingredient was two bleeding hearts. Wait, but I only have one. I only have one bleeding heart. Can I put a second one? Oh, I can put two in there. All right, sweet. So that was the first one. The second one was a spiteful fang. I don't know exactly what a spiteful fang is, but it's going to go right in there next to the bleeding hearts. After that, we've got one false water. I guess this is so the fish can swim and breathe underwater. We've got one broken bone. Uh, right there. Add that to the bowl. It looks beautiful. We've got a, a cursed ashes. Okay. Sounds like, uh, it might make you sneeze. Where's the cursed ashes? Wait a second. Where's the cursed ashes? Where's the cursed ashes? Well, let's move on. Let's do the silver tongue, which is right there. And then the last ingredient was, uh, oh, the, the cursed ashes. What the heck, man? Which one's cursed ashes? Is it in here? Oh, there's more in here. Cursed ashes, 
Beautiful. Let's put this back. And that looks like a wonderful soup for a uh, prehistoric fish monster. Okay, what if we kind of mash it all up? Oh, okay. That looks um, very healthy. Let's give it to Angela. Okay, I keep most of my spell crafting recipes on my laptop. It really helps me stay organized. That Good for you, Angela. Okay. What do I do now? Oh, there's an order page. Oh, I have to do the Dauntless seal first. Son of a nutcracker. All right, you know what? That's fine. So we have to make the Dauntless spell. Wait, how do I undo the spell that I made? Is there a way that I can undo the one that I did or do I just lose? Oh, what's in this door? Oh, it's a toilet. Can I, can I throw the thing in the toilet if I messed up? Maybe I could throw it in the toilet. Oh. Wow, that actually worked. I did. I was I, pr I was kidding. I was literally joking when I said that. All right. First one is the Dauntless. We need one idle hand, one bleeding heart, cursed ashes, spiteful fang. Where's she going? Hey, Angela. What is she doing? Wait, what if I bring this outside to her? Oh, did I just have to put it in there the whole time? Was I being dumb the whole time? The answer to that question is probably... The answer to that is probably, look, the green hue means that I did everything correctly. Okay, apparently you can tell by the, the green hue, I think. Okay, this lady's clearly not an expert. You mean you're not sure? Nope. <laughs> But here's the part where you come in. Now that the first chain has been summoned, it should have materialized somewhere nearby. Now, I need you to go find it and bring it back here. So, where is it? I don't know. I've never gotten this far before. This is fantastic. You faintly hear a voice emitting from the mist. Robin's Road. Ah, Walker Road. Robin's Road, which is this way. And then Walker Road. Ah, so I just had to look at the, uh, you know, the green hue from the chemicals that we made, okay? Well, now what exactly am I looking for? Uh, now I know which way to go. I just still don't know what I'm looking for. All right, it looks like we're coming up to a... Some sort of a shack or something. Oh, there's the chains. So, uh, so it's literally chains is what she was talking about. Did I do a good job? Oh, there you are. Were you able to find the chain? I think so. Yeah, okay. Apparently I was. Yep. Oh, good. I knew you. I, I knew I could count on you. Just leave it on the ground near the cauldron for right now, okay? In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and summon the next one. Okay, I think I'm kind of getting this. Does the clock... Oh, the clock does move. Because when we first started, it was 9 o'clock. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is called the Dauntless Seal. So I actually realized if I open it and then close the screen, I can keep the recipe on the screen. One idle hand... Where's the idle hand? Idle hand is right here. Beautiful. Okay, let's put that jar back. After that, we've got one watchful eye. Spot that in there. Bam. Okay, after that, we've got cursed ashes, which I believe was up here. Plop that bad boy in there. And then last but not least, we've got a spiteful fang. Pop that bad boy in there. Okay, I hope this turns green because apparently that means I did it right. It turned green. Fantastic. Let's run this down to our other friend. Uh... Uh, Monica or Angela, I forget her name. Pop it in the, the thing, whatever you want to call this. And uh, I think I think we did it. Okay, there we go. Oh, the fish is moving. What? There is a small prehistoric fish in the large prehistoric fish, and now apparently he's out. Okay, tread carefully when you're out collecting the next chain, my friend. Oh, great. Having just exited its host, the parasite should leave you alone for the moment. But I cannot guarantee what will happen as they begin to grow hungry. Can we just feed them? I don't know. Can we give the guy like a taco or something? I don't know. What what, what, do, what do parasites like to eat? You faintly hear L. Mavis Road and Bethel Road. Okay. First things first. Let's go down L. Mavis Road, which I believe is right here. Okay. And then we're looking for Bethel Road, which apparently is up uh, over here to the left. Where's the monster? Where's the parasite? Is there a way that I can, like, hide from him? Like, I hear something shuffling around. I hear something shuffling around! Oh, I see him! Oh, so wait. If I look at him... Okay! I'm okay! 
You're okay. We're all okay. You're gonna get your taco in a little bit. Don't you worry about me. My gosh, my gosh. I don't like the fact that he moves. I don't like the fact that he moves. Why is he moving? How do I make sure he does not move? I don't want him to move. I just want to get my chain and I want to be on my way. Okay, moving on to spell number three, which should be the Harkening Seal. All right, yo, this is fun. Okay, I got spell number three, I think it is. Oh, man. I have a feeling like every man from the window game, this is going to get harder and harder every level. The third chain has now been summoned. Wait, before you go, I have something that I wish to give you. Okay, is it like a laser beam that I can shoot? Oh, whoa, jewelry? Unless you want me to pawn it or something, I don't really need it. No, 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 my friend. This is no mere jewelry. This is a protective amulet. My father used to craft these in his spare time. Should anything try and harm you, simply point the amulet towards the assailant and utilize the space with your mind. So I assume that means I probably have to hit space bar. Robin's Road, John Saw Poplar, which is a fun word to say, and Song creek what am i walking to the other side of town so that's robin's right there okay then we've got john's over here so far so gooey huh huh i've got a space bar and i'm not afraid to use it okay then we've got poplar which is over here ah i see you i see you and i'm looking at you i see you and i'm looking at you yeah yeah ha Okay, I hit him. I hit him. Then I gotta go Song Creek. Does he go away forever? Please tell me he goes away forever. It does not look like he went away forever. In fact, he went away for about 30 seconds. Stay away from me, you weird man. Okay, okay. We've gotta be almost there. We've gotta be almost there. I've been walking in the woods forever. I zapped this dude right in the nutcrackers, but he seems fine. Where did he go? Where did he go? Stay away from me. I will... I will zap you! I will zap you! Dude, leave me alone! Oh my gosh. I feel... I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. There's the chain. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Chain number three. All right, the next spell is the Echoing Seal. Looks like we've got two more. Oh, he's looking at me in the window. Hey, buddy. I know this game is man from the window, but stop doing that. You're freaking me out, man. All right, Cursed Ashes. Can I close this door? I want to close this door just to be safe. All right, Cursed Ashes are right here. Okay. Apparently, the dude's still staring at me for some reason. We've got two spiteful fangs. Uh, I wish I could use those spiteful fangs on our buddy over there. And we've got silver tongue, which is right here. I don't really know why I have to put a silver tongue in there. And last but not least, we've got a watchful eye. Once again, so that weird dude doesn't kill me. And now he went away. Now he went away, which kind of freaks me out a little bit, but that's totally fine. Stay away. I will zap you with whatever is on my amulet. I don't know what's in this amulet, but you should stay back, you weirdo. And then we've got Ward. Ward is over here. All right, let's run, let's run, let's run. There he is, there he is. I got him. I got eyes on him. The, the amulet doesn't really work very well. It kind of keeps him away for about four seconds. I would like to keep him away a little bit longer. Okay, okay, where's the chain? I see you! Ah! Oh, I don't- I think I might have wasted a zap. I think I might have wasted a zap. I don't think I needed to zap there. I don't think I needed to zap there. I don't think I needed to zap there. There's the chain. Get it, Brandon. Okay. We've got four chains. I think we have one left. Okay, final chain. Closing that door, opening up the order page, and now we're doing the binding seal. Final one. I could do this. I am confident that I'm probably- gonna lose. But you know what? This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Oh, there's two. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, you jerk faces. Stay away from me, you jerk faces. How many zaps do I have on my amulet? Ah! I don't know, but I had to use it. I don't know, but I had to use it. I think Morris is coming. Morris is coming up right there. I got an eye on one. I don't know if I have an eye on two. I got an eye on one. I don't know if I have an eye on two. Ah! Zap him. Okay, and then the last one was Millwood, which was this way, I think. I think, I don't know, I think, I thunk, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know where the second one is. I don't know where the second one is, but I got it. I got my eye on this guy. Eye on the prize, Brandon. Eye on the prize. Oh, and I see the chain. I see the chain. I'm just gonna zap him just to be safe. Hit it. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that was really hard. Well done, my friend. On to the final step. There's another step. 
we must cast all five chains into the cauldron like so. Okay, I really hope that's it. I really hope that is all I have to do and I don't have to go back into that forest. Whoa. Are we finally gonna wake up the man from the window's dad? Because that's totally what we're doing. And I'm totally not just making that up. Is that it? Indeed it is. The ritual dictates that the fish will not be able to reawaken until an entire year has passed. So we did all that so the fish wouldn't wake up? I thought we were trying to wake him up. Yay, I got a star. Guys, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.